Mosquito, by the look of it. Evelyn, watch out! Oh, that was close. Seems to have singled oh. us out for attention. Careful, get down! You can't even make a quiet visit to the Tower of London without being zapped at by an alien robot bug. Do I detect a complaint? No, just a passing observation. You uh, don't suppose we're the reason it's here, do you? I do. The question is, why? What? Why is it trying to kill us? Does it really matter? Of course it matters. We can't risk innocent lives being lost in the crossfire. Then what do you suggest? Draw it off. Are you with me, or are you staying here? Well, someone has to keep you out of trouble, don't they? Hi! Yes, you up there with the wings. Well, what are you waiting for? Come and get me! It spotted us. Yes, getting ready to strike. Come on. Run! Where, where exactly are we running to? St. Catherine's Pier. <laughs> Nearly there. Oi, oi, oi. You can't go through here, mate. We're closed for the night. You've missed the last ferry. You see that giant flying insect back there? The one that's chasing us? Uh, all right, I'm letting you through, but just this once. Very kind. Evelyn, this way. No time to lose. The Thames. What, what, what do you suggest we do now? Swim for it? Have you ever oh. known me not to have a plan? Mm. Quick, onto the police launch. We're, ah. we're, we're, we're stealing a police speedboat? Uh, borrowing. Here, let me help you on board. Oh, here you go. Oh. Whoa. Oh, one day I'll be too old for this sort of thing. Yes, that's what I thought a couple of centuries back. Well, won't you need a key? Of course, required is some rudimentary rewiring and... <laughs> That's got it. Cast us off, could you? Aye, aye, Captain. Hold on tight, Miss Smythe. Here we go. You know how to drive a speedboat? Of course. Just like riding a bicycle, you never forget. Hello. I wonder what that lever's for. Yes, we've just spotted them now. Yeah, heading west in a high-speed patrol boat. They're swerving all over the place. Either the driver's intoxicated or... The hang about, there's something going after them. It's some kind of remote-controlled gizmo. Yeah, yeah just coming off the London Bridge. Of course, I remember the original London Bridge. I went under it in a boat with King James the second. Oh! Really? How interesting. Yes, and to the left here, you'll see the banks where in Victorian times we find mudlarks. Young children scavenging for jetsam. And on your right... This isn't really the time to play at being a tour guide doctor. Hold on! Ah! Uh, I don't think it's going to give up. No, unless... Yes. It has to be worth a try. Evelyn... Take the wheel for a moment, could right, you? Okay. Why are you taking off your coat? You're planning on challenging it to a fist fight? If I'm right, that thing only has a limited capacity to process visual data. Or it would have zapped us by now, so give it too much visual stimulation. And with any luck... It'll have a brainstorm? Precisely. It can only cope with so many colours and patterns at once. But how do you intend to give it too much visual stimulation? Oh, <laughs> Your coat! Can you think of anything better? No. I knew there had to be a reason for you wearing it. Rather than fashion, you mean? <laughs> Get ready to slow down. It's circling for another dive. What if this doesn't work? We'll soon find out. Here it comes. That's it. A little closer, my musky friend, and... Holy! <laughs> Is it dead? Stunned. 
The visual overstimulation has rendered it temporarily unconscious. Not the first time your coat's had that effect. I shall pretend I didn't hear that. Let's have a look at you, shall we? See what makes you tick. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do you recognise it? No. Extremely advanced technology, non-terrestrial, obviously. Gravity inversion drive. Hmm. Ah. Oh, dear. What does that flashing red light mean? It means it's been designed to prevent people like me from poking around. It's going to self-destruct. Can you stop it? Deactivate it? No time. Evelyn, would you say you were a strong swimmer? Uh, oh, oh, no. No, no. Take my hand and jump! Uh, 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 mm. uh, Doctor! It's freezing! Come on! We've got to put some distance between us oh. and that machine before it explodes. Uh, uh, I, I am doing my best. It, it looks like someone's noticed us. The police! Come on, never mind that. Just keep swimming. Oh. We don't have very uh. much... to hear it, Sergeant. What about this remote control device? Gone. There's no sign of it. It must have been caught in the explosion. Well, keep an eye out for any more. You never know. Coming into land now. Got a visual on the offenders. Sending a photo over to you. One male, mid-40s. One female, uh, 50s. Got it. Well, nice to see it was worth me coming down here. Unfortunately for all of us, Sergeant, you've found the fellow we've been looking for. That's the Doctor. Before we start, can I get you anything? Coffee? Tea? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Though I'm not sure about these clothes you've given me. Well, we can stick the jumper and jeans back in lost property if you like. But if we do, you'll have to sit here starkers. Put like that, I'm very grateful. Now... Let's not waste time, Doctor. It's two o'clock in the morning. I've had a long night. What's going on? Doctor? I don't recall telling you my name. In fact, I don't recall you telling me your name. You don't know who I am? No, I'm sorry. You have me at a disadvantage. Detective Inspector Patricia Menzies? And as for how I happen to know your name... Yes? Your... Um, lady friend told me. She said you were called... Smith. Dr. John Smith. Really? Dr. John Smith. Don't make me laugh. I wouldn't dream of attempting such a feat, my dear. I know the doctor, and I know that's not his real name. You do? I've had the pleasure of his company before. He's never mentioned you. He's never mentioned you either, Miss Evelyn Smythe. So what happened to Charlotte Pollard? I'm sorry, who? Forget it. Not important. So, you travel with the doctor? Yes. And what are you doing here? We were visiting the Tower of London. Doctor's idea. This giant mosquito just turned up out of nowhere and started blasting away. With little regard for the safety of passers-by. It was clearly targeting Evelyn and me, so we had no choice but to lure it away. Which is why you stole the high-speed patrol boat. Borrowed. You didn't exactly leave it in the condition that you found it. Well, not my fault. The mechanical assassin was booby-trapped. I'm sure you find it all rather difficult to believe. Not really. Oh. I'm a trusting sort, Doctor. Not a cynical bone in my body. Plus, your story tallies with eyewitness reports, including that of our own officer. Oh, good. So I can go, then? No. Oh. Well, why not? Because, Doctor, that's not what I meant when I asked what you were doing here. Are you really saying you don't know? Menzies. Are you sure we haven't met? No. I've never seen you before in my life. I thought you said you knew him. I do. But either he's pretending not to know me for some reason, or he's lost his memory, or... Yeah, here we are. Bradshaw, look at this photo of the doctor from the Appy House business. You're right, it's the same guy. So... so what? Is it just me? Or does he look younger now than he did then? Uh, maybe. There's not a lot in him. 
five years or so. Do you think he's had a facelift or something? Yeah. Or Botox. That's probably it. Probably. <laughs> what other answer is there? You and the Doctor, you both travel in a time machine. Please don't bother trying to deny it. I wasn't intending to. So although I've already met the Doctor, as far as he's concerned, he hasn't met me yet. Do you follow? Well, not really, no. I mean, at some point in the Doctor's future, he's going to run into me, which for me was a couple of years ago. When he was travelling with this Pollard girl? Yeah, but that's just it, you see. Forget I told you that. Don't mention any of this to the Doctor. Because if he knew about his own future... Oh, I see. Charlotte Pollard had the same problem. She met him out of order too, and she told me it could have caused a hell of a mess if she'd have let on. It means, though, that when I met the doctor for the first time in Manchester, he must have been pretending not to know me. Oh, very clever doctor. To avoid letting on that he would meet you again. Now. Exactly. Which means that I have to repay the favour. You mean pretend not to know him? And you have to play along. He can't know if you say so. You seem to have this all worked out. Well, after the last time I met the doctor, I thought I should do some research. Oh, well, I read The Time Traveller's Wife, all right? Well, I got out the DVD. Well, I watched the first ten minutes. But the point is, if the doctor asks, I've never met him before. Can you please explain what it is you think I've done? OK, it's like this. The Met have been getting reports of some new gang that's been set up in East London, led by a fella calling himself the Doctor. Oh, interesting. Well, nobody's sure what they're up to. So far, it's just been odd bits of theft here and there, but his gang seems to be getting bigger and bigger. This Doctor seems to be building up to something more ambitious. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Patricia, wasn't it? But whoever this Doctor is, it's not me. I've only recently arrived in London, and so have you, I gather. Why do you say that? Well, your ID card says you're with the Greater Manchester Police. So you have a special interest in this case? So did you tell him why you'd been seconded down here? Well, because of my experience and history of dealing with mysterious figures who call themselves the Doctor. No, I just told him there'd been some related activity in Manchester. Oh, my God, this coffee tastes of Bovril. Yeah, <laughs> If you want coffee, you have to press for tea. So, you don't think it's the same guy running the East End mob? No. He denies all knowledge, and for what it's worth, I believe him. Mm, sounds like you had a wasted journey down the M6. No. He's definitely my doctor. And after what happened last night, he's definitely mixed up in something, even if he doesn't know what it is yet. So, what next? Hold them in custody. If someone's out to kill them, a night in the cells would seem to be the safest thing. I, I, I'll see to it. Now, if you'll excuse me... It's been a hell of a night, and I have to go home, eat a microwave curry, and do my best to forget about the insanity that is my life. All right, up. Mm -hmm. What time is it? it? Must be five in the morning? Oh, yes, yes. Sorry to disturb your beauty oh. sleep, but we just had word you're to be moved. Moved? Yet the call came in a couple of minutes ago. It seems someone in the security services wants to chat with you. What, you mean am I five? No, the boy scouts. Who do you think? Come on. Doctor! Thank goodness! Evelyn, are you all right? Fine. Apart from a couple of hours spent failing to get to sleep in a police cell. And then the moment I drop off... Being woken up by this oaf. I'm afraid I didn't catch that, miss. Would you like me to repeat it louder and more clearly? Just keep moving. The sooner you're off my hands, the happier for all of us. I like your new outfit, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. One of the more distressing parts of this affair. Your coat. It was destroyed in the explosion? Yes. But never fear, Evelyn. I have another dozen identical coats back in the TARDIS. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> Another dozen, you say? Oh, well, did you think I always wore the same one? One down, twelve to go. Right then, you two. Your chauffeur awaits. Our own police car. I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, in. Where are we going again? Uh, we're expected at Thames House, I believe. OK, mate. From now on, they're your problem. Have fun. Now, officer, I wonder if I could ask a favour. I have this vehicle, you see, parked at Monument. Nah. Mr Gallagher doesn't like to be kept waiting. 
Gallagher? Is he something to do with MI5? <laughs> You're not going to MI5, miss. Now sit back and shut up. Try anything and I guarantee that at least one of you will get hurt. Doctor, we're being kidnapped. Yes, exciting, isn't it? But if this Mr. Gallagher is so keen to meet us, I'm rather keen to meet him. Drive on, driver. <laughs> Evelyn, seatbelt. Of course, I remember it when it was... All right, all right, enough sightseeing. At. And would you like me to put my hands up, making no sudden movements? No. What I'd like is for you to try and escape, giving me a reason to shoot you. Charming. Mr Gallagher, I've got them for you. Who the hell are these two? This one's the doctor. The geezer you were after. I don't know who this man is, but he ain't the doctor. Actually, I am Shut the... it. This is the Muppet the police were holding. I got him, like you said. Are you sure about that? Think carefully before you answer. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I I'm sure. If I may be of assistance, your employee didn't make a mistake. I am the doctor. Really? Yeah. Well, you're not the doctor I'm after. The one I'm after has been running a little outfit that's been muscling in on my business. Your business? Let me put it this way. Lots of good, honest citizens pay me their hard-earned money to make sure they're protected from the more uncivilised element. And it don't look too good if they find themselves having to hand over their valuables to a guy with a sawn-off shotgun. Am I making myself clear? Abundantly. I'm so glad. But if you're not the doctor I'm looking for... Who are you? Oh, just a humble civilian. So, if you care to release us... Well, now, that's the thing, you see. If you were the doctor I was after, I'd let Mick take you outside and let him indulge his homicidal tendencies. <laughs> Shut it. But as I'm clearly the innocent victim of a case of mistaken identity... You give me something of a problem. A problem with one very obvious solution. A solution that involves Mick taking me outside. Well done, you read me mine. You could just let us go. I could, but then you go running back to the police, and that wouldn't be very good for my peace of mind. I get these terrible attacks of angina, you see, so it's very important I lead a stress-free life. <laughs> no, either I let Mick use you for target practice, or... or... Or your lady friend agrees to do me a little favour. What do you mean they're not here, Bradshaw? We, we got a call about 5am from Thames House. Transfer request, top priority under the POTA. Let me see. Well, where's the request form? Um, it hasn't actually come through yet, Mum. I don't believe it. Somebody phones up, no code word, and you just do as they say. They sent a squad car. I put them in it myself. It all seemed perfectly routine. Brilliant. A squad car like the one that was stolen from Sorry Keys early this morning. The... what? The officer was lucky to escape with his life. They took his uniform and dumped him by the side of the road. But how could they know... They must the... have been listening into our radios. Oh, this is my perfect morning. Do you have any idea how much paperwork has to be filled in to have somebody formally reprimanded? No. Well, fortunately for you, I do. Which is why I'm not going to bother. Our first priority is the location of that stolen car, assuming it's not already at the bottom of the Thames. One, two, and... Ah, doctor, and your lady friend into the other car. You heard the boss. All right, there's no need to poke a gun in my ribs. Where are you taking us? Nowhere, just yet. I want you to do a little job for me, Miss... Um, Smythe. Miss mm, Smythe. You see, the reason why I know you're chumming the man I'm after is because I've recently made contact with the real doctor. Turns out he's in the market for firepower. Firepower? Heavy grade stuff, too. Machine guns, semi-automatics. Mm. He's planning something major. So I've let it be known that I have the, um... Necessary items. You're intending to give him what he wants? First, I want to find out what he wants them for. Nobody knows what he's planning, see? This doctor guy popped up out of nowhere. Nobody knows a thing about Almost it. Almost as if he just arrived from another planet. Yeah, if you like. We don't even know what he looks like. 
so I thought I'd try to get someone on the inside. Me? Yep. I was going to send one of me boys, but you can take the risk on their behalf. Won't you be slightly suspicious? I, I, I hardly resemble a gangster. So much the better. One of the funny things about the doctor's mob is that they don't fit the usual profile. He's been sending out primary school teachers to wave shotguns in poker dens. All very odd. And how do I report back to you? You wear this. A hidden microphone. Wired for sound. So you better be careful, because as the saying goes, careless talk costs lives. You mean, if I don't cooperate or contact the police... I'll be joining that car at the bottom of the tent. Nail on the head. Well, what do you say, Miss Smaith? I think, Mr Gallagher, you've made me an offer I can't refuse. Very wise. Get in, Miss Smaith. Mickey here will fit you with the microphone. It's the same kind the police use. So how did you get hold of it? I think that's one question you probably don't want to hear the answer to. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me a minute, I have to let the doctor's people know you're on your way. Doctor, what have we got ourselves mixed up in? I don't know. A robot mosquito tries to kill us and it turns out there's another doctor on the scene. You don't think this other... Doctor, it might be you. Buying up heavy artillery certainly doesn't sound like my style. And I don't remember ever being involved in these sort of shenanigans. So it's not you. It's definitely somebody else. I wouldn't say that. It could be one of my future selves. I wouldn't put it past them. But if it is me, then what am I up to? Why would I be running an East End gang? It's up to me to find out. Enough rabbit, you two. Time to go, miss. Take care, Evelyn. All right, Miss Smaith. Where are you now? I'm crossing the waste ground, heading towards the old factory. It's overgrown with weeds and nettles. Oh, thank goodness I'm wearing trousers, that's all I can say. Oh, grief, this is like listening to the archers. Any sign of the doctor? No. Seems to be deserted. The whole place is a ruin. Half the floors are missing. Doesn't look very safe. Your girlfriend's sharp as a tack, isn't she? She's not my girlfriend. All right, then, your mum, like it matters. I'm warning you, if anything happens to what? her... What? <laughs> what are you going to do, eh? Huh? The only reason you're alive is to ensure Miss Smay's cooperation. If she dies, then you're surplus to requirements. <sighs> Where are you now, Miss Smaith? I'm heading up the stairs, following the directions out onto the first floor. Any sign of the doctor? No, it's too dark. I can barely see where I'm treading. And, oh, I think I can see rats. But apart from that... Maybe there's no one there. Well, they're watching her, waiting to make their move. Yeah, so... Shh. Can you hear that? Hear yeah, what? Buzzing. Must be the radio. I think... Yes, I can see someone. They're here, waiting for me. Who is it? Describe them. It's hard to see, but it seems to be a young man. About 20 years old, I think. Fair hair. He's wearing... No, that's odd. What's odd? It's an Edwardian outfit. Like he's just walked out of the pages of an Evelyn War novel. What? But that... That's impossible. What? Well, what's impossible? Oh! What the hell's going on? There's half a dozen of them attacking the top of the building, firing these laser beam things. There's what are they? Toy helicopters? More like giant insects. Oh my life! Get down! Yeah. The same creatures as the one that came after me yesterday. What? You know about these things? No, but I think I know what it is they're after. What? Me. Hello. Are you there? Mr. Gallagher? Doctor? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, lady. That's far enough. Oh, my goodness. You made me jump. Who are you? Me. I'm the doctor.
these things? They're here because of you. I'm afraid so. One attempted to kill me last night. They're blasting through the roof. We're going to have to evacuate downstairs. Hey, tell the men to keep firing no matter what. Yes, Mr. Gallagher. Lads, keep firing no matter what. Do not stop firing. You don't believe you can stop them with bullets, do you? They're not going to let anything or anyone stand between them and their objective. Their objective being you dead. Yes. Yeah, well, well, yeah, then we'll just have to give them what they want, shouldn't we? But there is another alternative, Mr. Gallagher. And what might that be? Yes, Geronimo! Mr. Gallagher, they're eating through the ceiling. Hey, oi, where'd the doctor go? You see that window? What, a broken one? Oh, right. From three floors up, it's not going to be pretty. Wait, he's still moving. Looks like he made it. What? Still, they're going after him now. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, oh. Leaping out of warehouses. No way for a 900-year-old to behave. At least I've not broken my legs. Oh, you never give up, do you? Oh, well, this should be in the better part of power. Doctor! You! Get in! Try! 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 Take the next right, Sergeant. We'll try and shake them off going through the Rotherhithe Tunnel. Thank you, Patricia. You arrived just in the nick of time. I'd hold off the champagne, Doctor. We're not out of the woods yet. Now left! How on earth did you find me? I saw the swarm of giant robot insects and applied my keen deductive reasoning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm right again. We're losing them. You okay, Doctor? That was quite a jump back there. Oh, a little battered and bruised, but you'll find I have remarkable powers of recovery. What about your friend, Miss Smythe? Oh, my word. Evelyn! You're the Doctor? I oh, know, I oh, know. You're expecting someone older. Uh, well, um, yes. How old are you, precisely? Hard to say. For what it's worth, I'm older than I look. I see. And, um, you don't recognize me at all, do you? Uh, no. Why should I? Well, no reason. Just thought we might have met before. But no, no, of course not. No, that would be silly. Yeah, right. So you want to join up? Uh, yes. Well, it's not so much people I need as weapons. Ah, Yes. Um, that's why I'm here. A man named Gallagher has a consignment of machine guns, ex-military, brought over from the Baltic States. Oh, Gallagher, eh? Oh, he never sell to me. I thought you could do it through an intermediary. He wouldn't have to know you were the buyer. Hmm. Might work. How many and how much? Mm, well, Doctor, rather depends what you want and what you need the weapons for. Wait. What? On your coat. You're wearing a wire. What? Oh, that. that, that that's just my, um, the, the hearing it. No! Ple please, no! I, I can explain! Bad luck. If only I could have heard who she was speaking to. Why? Who was she speaking to? Who, oh, indeed. The doctor, apparently. Mr. Gallagher sent Evelyn to meet him. So that's who you were with back there? Ray Gallagher? You know him? Of him. He's pretty legendary with the Met. They've been trying to pin something on him for ages. He's involved mostly in smuggling. Protection rackets. Oh, certainly a most unsavoury gentleman. Tell me the worst, Mick. How many are we down? Sorry, boss. We've lost Phil Pot and Gaz and Bappy the Greek. Sorry! <laughs> what the... I thought you said they'd all gone. Well, I wasn't exactly counting. All right. You keep it busy while I take the fire escape. Um, on second thoughts, Mr. Gallagher, I resign. Do not attempt escape. The back, it can talk. Yeah, you have a nice, cosy chat with it. I'm getting... <laughs> Fair enough. I, I was planning on firing him myself. Do not attempt escape. Whatever you say, my insect friend. Whatever you say. Where is Doctor? What, the, the guy who was here just now? Detect trace of Doctor. You just missed him. What do you want him for? Doctor must be eliminated. You are ally of Doctor. Oh, no, 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 no. He's nothing to me. Doctor is engaged 
engaged in acquisition of weapons. Oh, no, 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 you got it wrong. That's the other doctor. We are not mistaken. Detect Trace, our doctor. Oh, have it your way. Hang on. You mean the fellow who was here just now, that was the doctor? Correct. But hang on. If he was the doctor, then who did I send Miss Smythe to go and meet? I want the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't work for Mr. Gallagher. Really? No. He just sent me here to, to find out about you. Then why are you running errands for him? Because he, he threatened to... Because he threatened to kill a friend of mine. I'm not some sort of gangster. I mean, look at me. Yeah, it's a good story, I'll give you that. So he's going to do your friend in if you don't come up with the goods? If he hasn't done so already. Look, I might as well come clean. I'm not some sort of gangster either. No? No, I mean, look at me. It's the means to an end. But if you're not a gangster, what are you? Basically, I'm what's known as a Time Lord. So who do you think this Doctor guy is? I don't know, but based on what Evelyn said, there's a strong possibility that he might be me. Okay. See, the truth is, I'm a time traveller. Yeah. Oh my God! Really? Yes. And I might have crossed my own footsteps. I try not to, but when you travel as much as I do, well, you're bound to bump into yourself now and then. Well, the guy Evelyn described, he was nothing like you. The thing is... Sometimes I don't look like me either. That has to be the clearest and simplest explanation of anything I've ever heard in my life. I have this ability to change my appearance. What, like plastic surgery? Making you look younger? I want that. You'd swear that I was an entirely new man. Okay, this is obviously insane, but what the hell? This other doctor is you, but with a new face. Now, the description is either my immediately previous incarnation or some future persona. I'm glad we've got it narrowed down. But if this other doctor is a former you, shouldn't you remember all this? I should. Unless I'm suffering from temporal amnesia. Oh, right. Inconvenient. Yes. I think it's high time you told me everything you know about this other doctor. He's from another planet? And now he's here on Earth? Is that why you've come here? To kill him? What is it, a, a revenge thing? That information is restricted. Uh, okay, your prerogative, mate. Just expressing an interest. You will cooperate in eliminating a doctor. You're proposing we join forces. <laughs> What's in it for me? These organic remains are of no utility. You mean Mick? Nah. Why? What, what are you... Oh, my sweet lord. Carbon molecular content reconstituted. That's a diamond. You can turn people into diamonds. Correct. This might just be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Go on in, then. This is your hideout? A lock-up garage? It's temporary. For storing weapons and ammo. But why? What are they for? A little job I'm working on. And all these people? Th th they work for you? My merry band of volunteers, yeah. Gallagher told us this doctor's mob aren't your usual gangsters. Yeah, housewives, students, mostly unemployed or retired. There's even a community support officer. It makes no sense. None of them has any sort of criminal past. They were all law-abiding citizens. And then pretty much overnight, they walked out on their families and jobs and joined up with the doctor. Oh, you think he's brainwashing them? Maybe. But more to the point, why recruit the lady who sorts the stock down at Oxfam for an underworld gang? Do you have details of all the people who've gone missing? I'd like to take a look, see if there might be a pattern. You're welcome. We're heading back to the station now. Could I ask one more favour? If we're crossing at London Bridge... My vehicle is parked nearby. Sergeant, make a detour. The doctor seems to think we're running a taxi service. Hey, oh, careful what you're doing with that. You drop that stuff, you'll be walking around with no legs. So where are you taking all these weapons? You're full of questions, aren't you, miss? I have an inquiring mind. 
Doctor. If that is your name. What are you on about? Okay, get the doors. I was only wondering if you um, intended to use them against the Daleks. Daleks? Who are the Daleks? That settles it. You're not the Doctor. No, 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 I remember now. Billy and Terry Dalek. Latoria Dalek brothers, of course. I knew it. The Doctor would never countenance the use of guns, nor would he run a criminal mob. You're clearly an imposter. Well, ain't that interesting? Because the only way you could know that would be if you knew the real Doctor. OK, peeps, if we've got everything into the van. You admit it, then. Is he around somewhere? Where is he? Where's the Doctor? As if I would tell you that. Who are you, really? An old friend of the Doctor's. We go back a long way, him and me. You could say we have history. Really? Enough chat and miss into the van. What? Get into the van. See? You and me, we're going on a little journey. Patterson, keep the motor running. Oh, you can wait in the car if you like. I won't be long. Oh, no. Leave you alone for five minutes and London will be missing half its tourist attractions. Oh, as you wish. My ship's just over here. Oh, yeah, the police box, of course. Sorry? I mean, a police box? What's that doing here? I thought they only had those up in Scotland. <laughs> You'll see, this is no ordinary police box. If you care to step inside... Oh... Wow. Well, if we could take the whole It's Bigger on the Inside conversation as read, I'm somewhat pressed for time. This is your time machine, then. I like it. Well, I'm gratified it meets with your approval. Why aren't there any chairs? What? There's no chairs. Where do you sit? <laughs> but this is the ship's bridge, the control room, the nerve center. Not a place for rest and relaxation. I'm just saying, on Captain Kirk's ship, they have chairs. Detective Inspector, may I tell you something, and I can't stress this too strongly. I am not Captain Kirk. So, uh, what are you doing? Uh, if another of my cells is active in the vicinity, I should be able to detect traces of their TARDIS. You mean their police box? Precisely. So, why are you pretending to be the Doctor? It's complicated. Which Doctor did you meet? Which incarnation? Which what? You do know the Doctor can change his appearance. Of course I do, yeah. I mean, everyone knows that. I suppose that's why you're dressed in those ridiculous clothes. Very bright head revisited. Yeah, well, it's what's expected, isn't it? By who? Who exactly are you trying to impress? OK, we're here. Everybody out. Whoever they are. I'm surprised they haven't smelt a rat. I mean, where's your TARDIS? My what? Your time machine? Don't tell me. You've bought a garden shed and painted it blue. You'd be surprised. All right, Trish, Nige, start unloading. Come on, out. Where are we, anyway? This is Marlebin, isn't it? What's it to you? The entrance to an underground car park. Not very picturesque. If you're hoping your doctor's going to come and rescue you, you can forget it. Really? Clean at your dark old back. Stop! Help! There's a man after me! He tried to fuck me! Oh, nice try. Trish, keep loading the stuff into the ventilation tunnel. You know what to do. Won't take me long to catch her up. Oi, where do you think you're going? Oh, you have to let me into the station. There's a man after me. No oyster card, no ticket, no entry. Oh, good grief. Look, I, I, I don't have an oyster card. Then you can buy a ticket from that machine, like everyone else. Oh, for goodness sake. Here, hold on to my handbag while I check my purse. Oh. Well, Doctor, much as I love standing here like a lemon, it's not exactly fascinating watching you press buttons. Oh, no sign of any other TARDISes in the London area. Hello? That's odd. What's odd? Well, it's not a TARDIS, but someone does seem to have activated a time machine. Oh, a time machine? I thought it might have been something bad. Oh, it is bad, Patricia. I'd even go so far as to say that it merits the use of the word extremely. Hold the doors! Hold the doors! Oh, 
was. You all right, miss? Thank you, young man. And, and no, I'm not all right. There's someone chasing me. It's okay, love. We're moving. Mm. Here, you can take my seat if you want. Jared, what's going on? This old dear thinks some bloke's after her. No way. You okay? I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, what, what's that? Once I get my breath back. Thank you. Uh, I'll have you know that I'm not an old dear quite yet. The next station is Great Portland Street. The next station is Great Portland Street. Hey, Flip, check out the guy in the next carriage. What guy? The one in fancy dress. Oh, no, he must have followed me. That's the guy who was chasing you, Caractacus Potts. You mustn't see me. He's heading down the carriage. I'd get off the next stop if I was you. Now you mention it, shouldn't we be slowing down for the next stop? I'd swear we were getting faster. I'm guessing that noise isn't good news either. It means that someone's just smashed a hole in the fabric of the universe, a temporal breach. And one of those is... A wormhole, Detective Menzies. A space-time wormhole. Jared, what's happening? Don't ask me. The way this thing's going, I'm surprised it hasn't fallen to pieces. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, we're slowing down, thank goodness. But that's daylight. It's daylight outside. Where are we? Looks like a tropical jungle. But this is meant to be Great Portland Street Tube, not the middle of the Amazonian rainforest. I think we've gone further than that. Look at the sky. What? Two moons. <laughs> Two moons and stars. Loads of stars. I don't get it, Jared. What is it? Isn't it obvious? We're on an alien planet. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Miss Smythe. Glad I caught up with you. Where are we? End of the line. Welcome to the planet Symbios. Got it. The temporal breach appears to be located in Great Portland Street. You're joking, right? Right next to the underground station. Unfortunately, trying to investigate in the TARDIS would be like flying into a hurricane. Is this your way of asking for another lift? It would save me having to take the bus. Okay, open the doors. Let's go. I do apologise, Detective Inspector, if I appear to be using you as some kind of taxi service. Yeah, just call me a cab. <clears throat> Doctor? Oh, no. What's this? Assisting the police with their inquiries? Mr. Gallagher, what are you doing here? I've been hoping to run into you again. My associates had a great deal of trouble tracking you down. What associates? Ah, you know the saying, my enemy's enemy? Turns out I'm not alone in wanting you to cease. Doctor, I'll have to leg it to the car. I'm sure you wouldn't stand a chance. No, go ahead. Give it your best shot. What the... Sergeant Patterson! He was in there! Oh, no. The death of a police officer on me conscience. This is Doctor. Doctor must be eliminated. Be my guest. Trisha, back into the TARDIS, now. What about you? I'll be right behind you. Eliminated, you say? Hadn't you better come a little closer, hmm? Just to make sure. That's it. Closer. Closer. Uh, and gotcha. Uh, oh, no. Goodbye, Mr. Gallagher. What do you think you're playing at? Doctor! Quiet, you... Doctor, what have you brought that thing in for? Just close the doors, but you show that one there. I can't hold the stick much longer. Yeah? What now? Now I need you to press the yellow button, third from the left on the next panel. Yellow button, third from the left. Hurry, Patricia! I can't find the yellow button. There's one that's sort of a, an oak. Okay. That's the one. It's not moving. Ah. What have you done? Caught it in a sensory disorientation force field. A what? A fly... Trapped in amber. Now, time we're out of here. Okay, out of the train, come on. We haven't got all day. What's going on? Where are we? Shut up and do as I say. Oh, right. You're the big man here, are you? Hey, I just shifted an underground train halfway across the galaxy. 
That doesn't deserve some respect. I don't know what does. Oh, this is your doing, then. Enough questions. Everybody out of the carriage. Good. Now, you see those crates over there? Pick them up. Why? What's in them? Machine guns. Machine guns? Yeah, but don't get any clever ideas, right? They're not loaded. Look, will you lot just get on with it? Hey, Jared. Look at the people in the other carriage. They're not moving. Yeah. God, they're frozen. Or in a trance. It's only temporary. I'll take a step back if I were you. It's gone. Vanished. Into like nothing. Yeah. It's important the interface isn't left open. So I take it we can't get back. That's right. And as I'm the only one who knows their way around here, you better start doing as you're told. Crates, this way. Move. Now listen to me, my bug-eyed friend. If I were the sort of person to stoop to threats, I'd remind you that I can increase the intensity of this force field. So, for the last time, what are you? I am terrible. Terrible? You know these things. No, never met them before, in all my travels. You are Doctor. Doctor must be eliminated. Well, they seem to know you. Are you sure you haven't forgotten? Well, if I had, I'd hardly know about it, would I? Tell me, how do you know who I am? Doctor constitutes threat to Terramore objectives. Do you mean I've defeated you, thwarted your plans? Correct. Well, no wonder you don't like me. I thought you said you'd never... Oh, but this could all be in your future, couldn't it? You catch on fast. But the problem is, I mustn't know too much about my own fate. Because it could create some sort of paradox. Well, yes. But mainly because it would spoil all the fun of finding out. Keep moving! What's the big rush? Because if you don't, you'll die. Are you threatening us? Not me. We're not the only ones on this planet. It's not safe out in the open. Now hurry up! <coughs> you right, miss? <coughs> yes. I've just had rather a long day, that's all. And it's very hot and clammy. <coughs> oh, you, you know this guy? This doctor? That's not his name. I don't know who he is. I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Evelyn. Flip, short for Philippa. And this is my boyfriend, Jared. Why? We were just heading out to a friend's party. Didn't expect to end up wherever the hell we are. Very strange, isn't it? Seems to be a jungle. But where are all the birds, the insects, the animals? Yeah, well, I'm not exactly desperate to meet the wildlife. And the trees, if that's what they are. Don't they remind you of something? Now you say, they do look a bit, I don't know, like bones or spare ribs. Kind of fleshy and wet. And all these roots, they're, they're more like twisted cables. Or veins. The ground, too. I'm not entirely sure this is earth we're treading on. It appears to be pulsating. And that smell, it's... Not, it's like someone's been sick. I wasn't going to say it, but yes. Bile. This whole place, it's, it's like wandering through an anatomy class. So that's what? Bubbly mud? Or lava, like in Iceland? It's blood, isn't it? It's rivers of blood. Yes. I don't think this is an ordinary alien planet. I oh, visit a lot of alien planets, dear. I do, as it happens. But this place, it's... It's more like one vast living organism. But why? Why come to Earth to kill me now? Doctor constitutes threat to terrible objectives. You mean your current objectives? Correct. Which are? Assimilation of planet, extraction and exploitation of all chemical resources. Yeah, well, I think you'll find we've extracted and exploited most of those ourselves. We do not assimilate planet Earth. We assimilate planet Symbios. Come on! Nearly there! Oh, what is this stuff we're walking in? I don't care. I just want to know whether I'll ever be able to get it off my shoes. 
Listen, Doctor, whatever you're called, it's time you give us some answers. Why have you brought us here? Yeah, what are these guns for? Me arms are knackered lugging these crates. Well, we must ask. The reason you're here, and the reason we need all these weapons, is because I'm trying to save this planet. Save it? Save it from what? <gasps> oh, no. I didn't think they made it this far. What are they? Terrible. And they're not friendly. Drop the crates. Oh, yes. oh, use them for cover. Why are they trying to kill us? We haven't done nothing. I suspect it's guilt by association. Isn't that right? Just stay together, all of you. Stay with me. You've got to be joking. Run, everyone, run. The ground. It's moving. It's an earthquake. At last. Come on, Flip. What's stopping you? we got to run. I, I can't move. My leg's the mud. It's sucking like quicksand. It's all right. Let me... Hold on. I'm sinking too. We're being sucked into the mud. Yes. And with those things shooting at us, we're sitting ducks. So, this doctor, who's you at some point in your past or future, you're not sure which, this other doctor is running an East End mob in order to help save an alien world. That would appear to be the case, Detective Inspector. Could, because for a minute back there, I thought I was in danger of becoming confused. <laughs> What's up with Metal Nicky? Uh, mm, he's attempting to make radio contact. Oh, God, for help? Or to request further instructions. Either way, it can't communicate while the TARDIS remains in the vortex. You mean it can't get a mobile signal? Which is interesting. It means I should be able to... Yes. Able to yes what? Triangulate the source of the control transmission. I think it's having some sort of a breakdown. No, not quite. It appears to be reliant upon that link in some way. Without it, it has no independent initiative. I know some people who are like that with their iPhones. No, maybe it's something more. A hive mind? A gestalt? Yeah, well, this one seems to be out for the count. Uh, hmm, not dead. Inactive. Awaiting instructions. Oh? So where is it getting those instructions from? Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, the Earth... South London. According to the instruments, it appears to be just outside Penge. What happened? Where are we? Where'd you think? You were pulled through the ground. Yeah, I got that part, but why? I think I know why. This world, it came to our rescue. All right, everyone. This way with the crates. We're nearly home and dry. Not that dry. The walls. They're all squidgy. I think, my dear, we're in some sort of artery. Or duct. Or even worse, we're in... Uh, yeah, we needn't consider all the alternatives. Mind your heads and try not to breathe in too much. Hey, you. Why'd you bring us here to carry your guns? Why not soldiers or something? Yeah, I've never touched a gun in my life. Well, that's what makes you the ideal host. Host? Host for what? What do you think? For the life forms who inhabit this planet... This is it. 
Her bed sits. Control signal is located somewhere in this flat, yes. Somewhere? This place is a tip. It looks like a bomb hit it and a burglar broke in to tidy up. Amateur electronics. Technology. Someone was keen on the smell of soldering irons. Right, the Heath Robinson. But I think there is method in this madness. Yes, this is it. The transmitter. Yes. Not, alas, the product of human intelligence. How can you tell? The know-how required is far beyond anything this planet has to offer. Well, see that? That's a neutronic wave inductor. Oh, yeah. So it is. But then... Mind I... where you're standing! What? It has tripped that sensor. Oh, sorry. Oh. Day 103. Have received instructions from Andromeda on how to link the gravity inversion drive to the neural matrix. A computer file. It's some sort of video diary, I think. Good grief. He's even wearing national health specs. Day 122. Have completed construction of device. Seems to resemble an insect of the family Culicidae. You mean he built the Terrorbush? Says he received instructions, but how? Day 140. Another email from Andromeda. At last, the details I've been waiting for. How to activate the creature. Email. He was contacted by space aliens by email. It's not impossible. If a signal was directed at a communication satellite... Oh, I suppose we should be grateful it wasn't Twitter. But how would they know who to contact? I suspect our friend Neville was the one who found them. But I'm not sure they're from Andromeda. Day 190. The apparatus is receiving instructions directly from the communicator network. I can't control it. It refuses to obey me. It's... Already begun to manufacture another creature. Self replication, incredible. You mean these things can breed? Given sufficient resources, <laughs> the miracle of life. Okay, you can sit down and rest now. We're safe. All the members of your gang, they're all possessed by life forms from this planet. Well, it's only temporary. Once the job's done, they get their bodies back. And we're nothing about it. I see. You're building up your own private army. But what for? Why do you think? We're at war. The Terravor are attacking Symbios and it can't defend itself. So I'm giving it bodies to fight with. You're supplying the planet with cannon fodder? Look, if the Terravor get a grip of this planet, they'll reduce it to dust. The Locusts told me everything. The Locusts? That's what they're called. They're like spirits, except they're not dead. You said they called to you for help. Yeah, they did. No. I think they called for the doctor. I am the doctor. No, you're not. I don't know who you are, but you're not the doctor. I'm helping them, aren't I? That makes me the doctor. I doubt the real doctor will see it that way. We've been fighting them for months. Jungle warfare. But all we've managed to do is slow down their advance. Wait, you want us to be taken over by these locust things because they don't have bodies of their own? It's the only way, I'm sorry. Oh, brilliant. Yes, but what happens if they get themselves killed while they're using our bodies? Miss Smythe, I think you better come with me. Day 260. This is Neville Perkins, and this is my final message. There are now a dozen of the creatures. They've taken over the flat. They've killed Mrs. Vima, the landlady, and Mr. Chakrabati down the hall... If anyone is listening to this, that means I'm dead. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't know. There's no way I could have known. Oh, no. Doctor, behind the sofa. I think I found Neville. Oh, what little's left of him. Ah, poor fellow. To have built all this, he must have been a genius in his way. Oh, one last thing. These creatures will do anything to protect the control signal, which means they know you're here. So get out now. Run. Doctor, outside the window. Yes, I see them. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm attempting to switch off the control signal? If only I still had my sonic screwdriver. Doctor! Yes, uh, Patricia, if you could take over. Remember, it wants to protect the transmitter. It wouldn't dare shoot. Pass me that umbrella, would you? Take over? Well, you do what, exactly? On guard, Terrible! Uh, uh, uh.
Oh. And while you're playing at Musketeers, <laughs> what do I do? Oh, the blue wire. Disconnect it and... Ah, connect it to the grey wire and ah, mind your fingers. <laughs> Done it. I think... <sighs> yes. I regret to say there's been a breakdown in transmissions. So these terrible things, they're all dead. Deactivated. Until they receive another wake-up call, that is. Connection broken. Restore contact Gallagher. What's the matter? What's wrong? Doctor has disabled control signal. Unable to link to terrible directive. So? Find Doctor. Eradicate. Eradicate. Fantastic. Stupid thing's gone and crashed on me. Where exactly is it you're taking me? You'll see. It's just easier if you're not with the others when it happens. With what? Oh. Being taken over by this locust thing, I suppose. I recommend you don't try and fight it. You don't expect me to go quietly, do you? It's just that if you try to resist, it hurts. Look, I've got to be somewhere else. You're not going to leave me here. Come back. Come back. The Locus, is it? Listen to me. My name is Evelyn Smythe. I'm a friend of the Doctor's. The real Doctor's. The person who brought me here, he's not the Doctor. You've been tricked. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. Please. Get, get out of my mind. I, d I, I don't want you in my... Remind me never to ride in that thing again. I feel like a cat that's been shoved in a spin dryer. This isn't Great Portland Street. Oh, you expected me to land the TARDIS in the ticket hall? No, this is one of the maintenance tunnels. Oh, watch out for the rats. Nice. So, this time breach, it was around here somewhere? Yes. This way, I think. No. This way. It looks like nobody's been down here for years. No, the brickwork looks to be the original. This station, of course, was part of the very first underground railway. What is it? The oddest feeling. As though I've been here before. Before? Yes. My memory's a little cloudy, but it all seems rather familiar. Maybe this other doctor. Maybe he's not a future you. Maybe he's one of my former selves and I've forgotten. Yes. Though usually, when I'm in the vicinity of another of myself, I get a prickling sensation on the back of my hand. What, like pins and needles? The yeah, Blinovich limitation effect creates a static charge. But this time, nothing? No. But if we do meet one of my predecessors, he mustn't know who I am. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. I've read The Time Traveller's Wife. Huh? Sorry? Okay. I rented the DVD. What? But I get it. Past you can't know about future you. It's not that difficult. Oh. Just in case, if we do meet a young man dressed in Edwardian garb, I'm not the Doctor. And as for you... What about me? No, you're not in uniform. So if you don't do anything too memorable, we should be all right. Sorry, are you saying that you think you met me before and then forgot about me? Do come along, Patricia. This way. Yes, this is all very familiar. I think I was down here just after the line opened with... With who? With a young chap called... What are you doing here? Oh, my word, it's him. Who? What's he doing here? And why is he dressed in that ridiculous get-up? You shouldn't be down here, it's dangerous. Now, I'll ask you again. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry. We, um, uh, got lost. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? Well, you don't look like you should be down here either. Lady, that's none of your business. You're up to something. Something in that tunnel. Okay, that's it. You've seen too much. Oh, you're going to shoot us? How marvellously imaginative. I can't have you blabbing. 
You're going to have to come with me. Come with you? Where? My base of operations. Move. Do as that out says, Patricia. Why are you here? Anyhow, you the police? Excuse me. Do I even look like a policeman? Well then, you must be working for Gallagher or another outfit. I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Then who are you then? Answer! Patricia Menzies. And this is my friend... Norman. Norman? Uh, Norman de Plume. But my friends call me Norm. And who are you, might I ask? Me? Well, I suppose I might as well tell you the truth. I'm usually referred to as the Doctor. Doctor, um... Just Doctor. All right, you two in here. Oh. <laughs> What's in here, besides all the dust? Just the storeroom. Now, I've got some business to attend to, so if you'll excuse me a minute. Uh, he's locked us in. Huh. As if that's the sort of thing I would do. Uh, should have us out of here in a jiffy. So that's the guy who's been calling himself the Doctor. Evidently. But he's not the Doctor. He's not you, I mean. No, he's the young man I was telling you about. Thomas Brewster. So why didn't he recognise you? No, oh, because you've got a different face. Precisely. He doesn't know who I am. And he doesn't know that I know who he is. So who is he, then, this Thomas Brewster? Uh, I met him about 150 years ago. He was running a gang of thieves. Travelled with me for a time... I thought he'd changed his ways, but it seems old habits die hard. So he's some sort of an artful dodger type. Yeah, more of an artless dodger, shall we say. Well, he seems to have gone up in the world. Yes. I wonder what he's up to. And why he's besmirching my good name into the bargain. Yes, that was the main thing that was worrying me, too. Remind me never to take you on a trip to Literalis too, Detective Inspector. On that planet, sarcasm is considered a capital offence. But if you already know this Brewster, why not tell him who you are? Because, my dear Patricia, while he remains unaware of my real identity, we have him at a disadvantage. Keep the devastating truth in reserve, you mean? If he had the slightest idea who I was, he'd know that it takes more than a locked door to hold me captive. Uh, please... No need to look impressed. I'm not. I'm a police officer. We spend years in training learning that people who can pick locks are the bad guys. Have it your way. Come on. Let's see what he's up to. What's that sound, Doctor? I strongly suspect the cause of the temporal breach. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a big pile of junk. Junk? Junk is some of a botched job, I admit, but... That makes it all the more impressive. Oh, come on. You're not seriously telling me that that's... that's a time machine, yes. Brewster built it back when I first met him. I thought it had been destroyed. It doesn't look very destroyed to me. Come along. I want to take a closer look. Hold on. Doctor. What is it now? We're not alone. <laughs> all right. First job is to align the light beams. Mind you don't burn yourselves, yeah? What's up with the other two? They look all zombified. They're operating the machine, Wait a minute. I know that face. That's Trisha Welsh. Who? One of the people reported missing. And the other one. That's yeah, Annie Cole's yeah, nicely lady. done. But what's he want with them? All right. You can come out now. Oh, you were. Uh, stand up, will you? Ah! Rumbled. I see you've discovered my little science project. Hey, what is it? No, wait. Let me guess. You're trying to perfect a microwave chip that really does taste as good as the fried variety. Hmm? Oh, don't play games. I know who you are. You do? I've been expecting you ever since I ran into your companion, Evelyn. E Evelyn? Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. That's why I locked you up. A test. I knew that if you were who I thought you are, you'd escape. And here you are. No, oh, no, I just gave the door a nudge and it swung open. I think you may have forgotten to lock it. Hmm? Norman the Plume. <laughs> what kind of idiot did you take me for, Doctor? 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 What? Don't deny it. I know you can change what you look like. I believe you may be mistaken. No mistake. Your TARDIS is in the tunnel upstairs. All right. Oh, I suppose I should come clean. I... Yeah, you're right, kid. I'm the Doctor. What? I'm the Doctor. The traveller in time and space. It's me. You? And uh, Norman. Norm, here is my assistant. I am? He, uh, he ate it when I called him that. All right, then. Companion. But you're... You're... What? A woman? I thought you said you knew I could change my appearance. Yeah, but... 
only up to a point. <laughs> You're surprised. You should have been there when it happened. Poor old Norm didn't know where to look. You mean, you used to be a male doctor and now you're a... Wearing court shoes. Yes, must admit, it took some time getting used to... You can say that again. You're really the doctor? Oh, yes. Well, in that case, I need your help. The next train is for all stations to Aldgate. All stations to... Started about six Aldgate. months ago, when the locusts first made contact. They were asking after you. Said the doctor had sorted them out before. Needed his help. So you decided to assist this locust by providing weapons and human bodies? Hey, it was the best I could come up with. And how have you been delivering your volunteers? Well, to pass through a temporal breach would need some form of transport. How do you think? Sorry, oh. you sent them to an alien planet by tube. Get in. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. And here we are, the planet Symbios. Extraordinary. An entire tube train shifted through a space-time wormhole. Had a lot of experience of this sort of thing, your companion? I'm uh, training him up. He's uh, doing all right, most of the time. I can't say I'm overwhelmed by Symbios, except by the smell. Mm. Well, if you could tell Norman to step this way, Doctor. The interface is only open for a minute. I get it. You don't want the, um... Terrible. Terrible to discover your shortcut. Exactly. If they ever found the interface and used it to travel to Earth, it doesn't bear thinking about. Well, I can understand you wanting to help this locus, Thomas. Your intentions are admirable, even if your methods are not. But why pretend to be the Doctor? Yeah, why pretend to be me? Because the Doctor was who the locus wanted. If they knew who I really was, they wouldn't have trusted me, would they? No, mate. Why are you looking at me like that? Me? I'm not looking at you like anything. Good. I'm looking at the people behind you. Oh, what? We know the truth. We know you are not the Doctor. The woman Smythe told us everything before we occupied her form. You did what? We are Locus, the voice of this planet. Sorry, come again. We are the Locus. And we have been betrayed. Take him. What? No, 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 you have to listen to me, all right? So, so I'm not the doctor. I brought you bodies, didn't I? Let him go. What? You asked for the doctor. Well, now you have the genuine article. The genuine article? Me. It's me. I'm the doctor. Then prove it. supposed to say? I can't prove I'm the doctor. Don't worry. If this locus isn't prepared to believe you, then that's their problem. Really? That's it. It's the best you can do. Oh, because your plan was working so well, you mean? Hey, I make more of a convincing doctor than you. Yeah, you can take the boy out of the Victorian age, but... Uh, locus, tell me about yourself. I've never addressed a living planet before. Who are you to ask? Oh, no one. Just the doctor's companion. It's kind of my job to ask stupid questions. We are the locus. We are all around you. In every organism, in every cell. The ground beneath your feet, the air you breathe. Interesting, but that doesn't really explain much. Wait. Symbios. A planet of symbiosis. Different organisms acting together as one. All life on Symbios exists in harmony. Yes, one organism. But that should be an evolutionary dead end. Except one part of you kept on developing, didn't it? The genetic inheritance. You comprehend our true nature? Yeah, I'm beginning to. The genes themselves evolved their own independent intelligence, like, oh, I don't know, computer viruses, ghosts in the biological machine. Norman, look! Who? Oh, oh, you mean me? Oh, no. It seems our presence has been noted. The Terravore. Remain where you are. You will be absorbed by symbiote. What? You shall be conveyed beneath the surface. It's all right. I've done it a hundred times. Just hold still. Well, if you're sure. <laughs> Detect praise of Doctor. Detect praise. 
Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, don't worry. I'll slide off in a minute. It's bile, mostly. Bile? Terravor, they identified you as the Doctor. What? Oh, uh, yes, I suppose they did. So now you know you can trust us, your enemy's enemy. The Doctor visited Symbios many years ago. And saved us from the driving... La, 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 And what are you doing, Norman? Locus, I'm afraid as far as the Doctor here is concerned, that particular encounter has yet to take place. So if you could keep the details to yourself, it would be much appreciated. We understand. So, will you assist us? I... The Doctor has three conditions. Doesn't the Doctor speak for herself? No, it's okay. I'm training him. Work experience. Go on, Norm. Condition one. You return the minds of all the people you have kidnapped. I'll talk to them. I'm sure they'll agree to help you of their own accord. We shall do this. Save for this form. What? Oh, no, no. No exceptions. For communication purposes only. When the Terravor are defeated, her mind shall also be returned. Ah, very well. Your second condition? All the humans must be returned safely to Earth. Agreed. And your third? A third condition is that you listen carefully and do exactly as I say. I still don't see why Symbios couldn't have brought us here. Have you ever travelled intravenously? It's not pleasant. Right, the Terravore hive ship's about half a mile away. Oh, only half a mile. What a pity. This was turning into a nice ramble. The country air, the sound of birdsong... And the Terravore? They're swarming all around the ship. There's no way we can get inside without them seeing us. Then let's hope the others are ready with the diversion. This is so mad, Flip. A few hours ago, we're on our way to Marty's 21st. Now we're on an alien planet getting ready to zap alien invaders with machine guns. Not as mad as you volunteering for it. Oh, come on, this is brilliant. It, this is better than Call of Duty or Avatar. This is seriously hardcore. And when we get killed... You shall not come to any harm. Forgive me for not having total faith in a living planet that talks through the body of an OAP. Look, all we have to do is get their attention. <sighs> ready, Flip? No, not remotely. But don't wait on my behalf. And the rest of you? Clarky, Sinetra, Ellie, Mrs Lewis? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Lock and load. It's working. Those things are going off to my gang. They're not your gang anymore, Thomas. Hey, this is exactly how things would have worked out if I was still in charge. Could you two stop bickering for one moment? They're leaving the hive ship. Come on. Okay. We're inside the ship. Now what? Uh, you're the Doctor. Aren't you the one with the plan? What the Doctor meant to say was that we need to find the source of the control transmission. That was what I meant to say. Sorry, my mind was on higher things. The transmission must be coming from somewhere in this ship. Like, uh, radio control. Oh, right. Uh, this way, I think. Towards the centre? If you say so, Norm. But I don't want you getting into... Ah! Oh, my life! Doctor! Stay back, Brewster. There's nothing you can do. What the hell is that? I'm guessing the Terravore Queen. She's massive. Do not approach the female organic. Norman, the control signal. We found it, Thomas, don't you see? The Terravore Queen is the control signal. What? But then... Then the Doctor's plan has failed. These things have won. Everyone on this planet, they're all going to die. Nothing you can do. What the hell is that? I'm guessing the Terravore Queen. She's massive. 
do not approach the female organic. Norman, the control signal. We found it, Thomas, don't you see? The Terravore Queen is the control signal. What? But then... Then the Doctor's plan has failed. These things have won. Everyone on this planet, they're all going to die. Is she dead? The female organic? Answer me! The human has not been eliminated. Lord, there's more of them. Drones. Transfer these organics to a brood chamber. Their mineral compounds will be assimilated by our young. Nothing's happening. Jared, we're surrounded and nothing's happening. No, I don't want to sound like a wuss flip, but, but I don't want to die. I, I really, really don't want to die. It's all right. You don't have to prove anything. No. Hold on, wait. They're not firing. You're right. Surrender weapons and you will not be eliminated. Yeah, like we believe you. Will you believe me? Focus. Surrender your weapons. Now. Suits me. I don't get it. What's going on? Locus! Where are we? Oh, thank goodness you're all right. You're in the Terravore ship. In one of the brood cells. It shot me. Yes. I, I just... Well... Great work. The doctor's dying and it's all for nothing. She can still survive. We have to get her to a hospital. And how do you suggest we do that? We're on the wrong side of the galaxy, in case you didn't notice. I don't know, Thomas. I don't know. If I was the Doctor, you would never be my companion. And if you were the Doctor, I wouldn't want to be. Thing is, I thought the Doctor was a Time Lord. But the Terravore Queen, she said the Doctor was a human. Did she? I'm not stupid. <sighs> no. No, you're not stupid. Thomas Brewster, allow me to introduce Detective Inspector Patricia Menzies. Oh, she's a blue ball. Blimey. So, you got a new boat race in, Doctor? I regenerated, yes. Yeah, I thought the whole business of you turning into a lady was a bit peculiar. Quite. Now, I've been straight with you, you can be straight with me. Why did you reactivate your time machine? What's it to you? Oh, just tell me, Thomas, please. You remember back in London, I met this girl, Connie. Mm, yes, yes, I do. Right charmer she was. Real good looking, too. All set up, I was. Only... Only one day there was this accident. Nobody's fault. Driver never saw her. She weren't dead, it's just... She weren't ever gonna wake up. The doctor said, well... They said there weren't any point in... Oh, you know. Thomas... I'm so very sorry. Well, after that, nothing went right. So I thought I'd see what happened to my time machine. Because you wanted to travel back to save Connie's life? Don't mind admitting it. Thought crossed my mind. What's done is done. There's no changing that. Then why? Come on. I want to get back to my own time. This century ain't for me. All cars and aeroplanes and glass buildings. Everyone talking every second of the day. I'm no good here. I want to be somewhere I'll fit in. Only when you tested the machine, the locust made contact. Yeah. Mm. I thought I found myself a mission in life. That'll teach me, won't it? To get ideas above my station. You did your best, Thomas. That's all any of us can do. This is the location of the space-time wormhole. I detect no etheric disturbance. We have agents on Earth, humans under our control. They are Trisha Welsh and Danny Coles. They are due to open the temporal breach. We are waiting for a train. No, no train. But your swarm may now leave, Symbios, as we agreed. Excellent. I shall gather the Terrible and send them to this new world to prepare it for my triumph. Gallagher. Well, where the hell are you? 
I've got half a dozen stiffs here. They ain't gonna dump themselves in the channel. What? Your mum's birthday? Now you listen to me, you donut. Yeah, holy moly! Contact has been restored. Oh, frightened the life out of me. No, it wasn't a wasp. Just get your backside over here, pronto. So, up and about again, are you? We have located Doctor's Temporal Breach. What sounds medical? Wormhole is located beneath Great Portland Street. How do you know that? My control signal is being relayed through Wormhole. Oh, right. Gallagher, assemble your men. We must secure location for induction of Terrible Swarm. Whoa, 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 whoa. We had an arrangement, remember? In return for cooperation, you will be provided with as much reconstituted carbon content as you require. Diamonds, my little friend. <laughs> They're called diamonds. Come on, Doctor. You must have some sort of plan to get us out of here. I always have a plan. It's just that sometimes I haven't thought of it yet. Shh, shh. I think someone's coming. Then this is our chance. Thomas, get ready. Evelyn! Oh, still under the control of the Locus, I see. We have returned your friends to you. Those terrible things. They called off their attack. Uh, and took us prisoner. Short story. They called off their attack just like that? We have secured your release. You are free to depart. Well, the Terravore wouldn't let us go without good reason. So what have you given them in return? We are sorry. We had no choice. You've told them where the wormhole is, haven't you? And in return, they have agreed to vacate this world. Yeah, so they can devastate the Earth instead. Sold us out to save themselves. Locust, do you have any idea what you've done? The Earth is home to a million species. Thanks to you, the Terravore will reduce it to dust. Your lives have been spared. You should be grateful. The Doctor is wounded. Why has she not renewed her form? Uh, the Doctor is um, too seriously injured to regenerate. Unless she gets medical attention soon, she'll die. Then perhaps this will convince you of our intentions. <gasps> It's cured her. It's cured her. What happened? I feel like death warmed up. Literally. The locus infuses every cell and particle on this world. So long as the locus lives, there is no death here. No death here? Brewster, did you know this? Of course. Wouldn't have helped him out otherwise. What sort of idiot do you take me for? You had no idea, did you? No. <laughs> you may remain on Symbios for as long as you desire. You need never die. All right, lads. Everybody out. This location gives access to a temporal breach. The old Marlborough Road tube. Been shut since before the war. It was a Chinese restaurant till a couple of years back. The chopsticks used to rattle when the trains passed underneath. <laughs> To Southbound tunnel goes straight to Baker Street. Great Portland Street's two minutes further on. But first, we better bust our way through to the platforms. Boys! Physical force unnecessary. Order ancillaries to vacate in immediate area. Okay, you heard the daddy long legs. Get out of its way. Right! Whoa, that's some serious firepower you have there. Access to platforms facilitated. There you go. What do we do next? Maintain surveillance for human defensive response. Any attempt to disrupt induction must be eliminated. It will be a pleasure. Lads, get ready for some action. Sorry, you're the doctor now. The original and best. Hey. Where's Miss Smythe? I mean, the locus gone. Gone to bathe in bile for all I care. The old lady can wait. We need to get out of here. I recommend caution. The hive ship may appear deserted, but... Come off it. The swarm must be on their way to Earth already. What's that? Okay, don't look at me. It's not mine. It's not mine. My ringtone is poker face by Lady Gaga. Sorry, I think it's mine. Yes. D.I. Menzies! 
Where have you been, Mum? I've been trying to raise you for hours. Sergeant Bradshaw, sorry. I've been in an area with bad coverage. Are you up in that chopper again? Yeah. You know that robot thing from last night? Well, we're getting reports of more of them. A, a lot more of them. The Terravore. The what? The called Terravore. Singular and plural. Right, well... Whatever they're called, they're coming out of the underground, all over London. They're in the underground. Yeah, we've ordered an evacuation of the tube, but it, it's not much good if we don't know where they're coming from. Try Great Portland Street. Why Great Portland Street? Oh, you can either waste time listening as I try to explain how I know, or you can get down there and do whatever you have to do to stop them getting through. Right. What about you? Where are you anyway? It's hard to explain. I'm, uh... Quite a way out of town. What, like zone four? <laughs> Even further than that. Look, keep me in touch. Hang about. You're getting a signal in here. Apparently. Look, five bars. Peculiar. And it's just an ordinary phone. It hasn't even got email. So I'd be surprised if it had roaming network capability on alien planets. Oh, let me see that. Oh, come on. We haven't got time for you not to play with your mobiles. Oh, yeah, Brewster's right. Uh, this is where we came in, I think. So... Where to now? We have to get back to the space-time wormhole before it's too late. Come on! Just heading down towards Great Portland Street now. We're in the vicinity of the Finchley Road. Uh, ETA... We are being shot at. Uh, I'm counting four, five, six guns on the platform of the old Marlborough Road station. What is the player? Um, oh, it gets better. We've, we've got more of those giant robot mosquitoes swarming out of the station like, well, like giant robot mosquitoes. Yes, they've definitely noticed us. Bob, get us out of here. Get us out of here now. <sighs> we've made it. We're back on Earth. Back at Great Portland Street. I feel like I've gone on every ride at once house at once. Passing through a space-time wormhole unshielded is rather like... Well, I don't have time to think of an analogy right now. No sign of any terrible. Well, they've already left. They'll be swarming all over London. What have I done? No time for self-pity, Brewster. We have to get to your time machine. Come on! You can lead the way. We can barely see. There's, there's so many of them. And the noise is just... We're hit! Repeat! We are... We are hit! We, we've lost the propellers! We're gonna have to... Yes! Hey! No, I... You think, boy! Did you see that? Whoom! Ah, lovely! Gallagher! Swarming has commenced. Your cooperation is no longer necessary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Time for a swift off, lads. You are no longer necessary. Huh? Here. What, what do you think you're doing? We're on your side. Extraction of mineral resources has commenced. That's all we are to you. Mineral resources. You did not protest when we reconstituted carbon content of your and. Yeah, yeah, but that was different. That was business. This is the end of the world. Commencing extraction of all chemical resources. Oh, no, no, well, well, no, 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 no. The time machine's unguarded. These bugs aren't very hot on security. I imagine they're otherwise occupied. The people working here, Trisha, Danny, where are they? Why? Are you worried you might have their deaths on your conscience? Doctor, having a pop at Brewster is not going to help us. Yeah? World ending here? You're right. So, all I have to do is depress this lever and the wormhole will be closed. Then what are you waiting for? Yeah, get a move on. No. What? No. The Locus was right. Given the choice, if any planet deserves to be saved, it's Symbios, not Earth. Are you having a laugh? Hey, allow me. Oh, no. Think about it. Symbios is unique in the universe. Peaceful, intelligent. Because Earth is a polluted world. Its natural resources almost exhausted. Presided over by a race that's nothing better to do than 
wage war on its own species. But the Earth, six billion people will die. The locust was right. The terrible should have Earth. Shut off the machine. Oh, that's how you intend to save the Earth, is it, Thomas? By killing me? If I have to, yes. I wouldn't try it if I were you. Not with Evelyn behind you, pointing a gun at your head. <sighs> Come off it. I weren't born yesterday. Thomas Brewster, put your weapon down now. Well, where have you been hiding? We anticipated this situation. We couldn't let you close the wormhole until all the Terravore have left our world. And have they? Is Symbios safe? Only the Queen and her personal drones remain. Good. Then I think it's time we left. I've locked off the controls to the time machine so that only I can close the wormhole. Nothing anybody else does will have any effect. So you've decided to accept our offer of a life on Symbios? Indeed I have. I suggest we take the TARDIS. Would anyone else here care to accompany us? What? It's your choice. Live out the rest of your life on Symbios, or stay here and die. Some choice. Yeah, cheers, mate. I'm staying. Me too. Very well. Come along, Locus. Goodbye. Thomas. Jared. Philippa. Doctor. What on earth is he playing at? Isn't it obvious? He decided to leave us in the lurch to save his own neck. You're able to pilot the TARDIS? The doctor instructed me. I'm like her protégé. And now you have abandoned her along with your fellow humans? Their decision, not mine. You don't regret your decision? Sacrificing your own world to save Symbios? Of course I regret it. But you heard my reasons. He did? Then you'll know that you can trust me, won't you? Well, any luck? I'm doing my best. I need to concentrate. Ugh! That's no good. No matter what I do, I can't switch it off. Jared, what are we waiting for? We've got to get out of here. Not until the DI gets back. Well, there's no way out through the station. The whole street's on fire and the Terrorvore have already started eating the buildings. We could try and escape through the underground. Well, we could, but where would we go? Those things are going to overrun the planet. If we dropped a nuclear bomb on them, I'd expect to see them buzzing out of the mushroom cloud. There is somewhere we can go. What? The wormhole. It's still open, remember? Well, you're welcome to try. But cheesy as it may sound, if I'm going to die, I'd like it to be on the planet Earth. Thomas, what about you? No, you go. I still might be able to unlock this thing. Okay. Come on, Flip, let's leave him to it. Why have you brought us back to the wormhole? Seemed as good a place as any. Well, give us a chance to watch the last of the Terravore depart. Only a couple more and the Terravore Queen to go. <laughs> Typical royalty. Can't go anywhere until they've rolled out the red carpet. Oh, eh, excuse me, would you mind if I made a quick phone call? I think that's you, isn't it? Caller ID withheld. Mendes. Hello, it's me. You have a mobile. I do, or rather our young friend Jared doesn't. I'm sure he won't mind. I realised your mobile signal is being carried through the wormhole along with the Terravore Queen's control signal. That's how she's been contacting the Terravore on Earth. And you called to tell me that? No, I called you to ask you to do something vitally important for the safety of the human race. All right. What? Could you hand me over to Thomas, please? It's for you. Hello. Thomas. I do hope you haven't been attempting to unlock the controls of your time machine. Why? What's it to you? Ah, well, even if you have, it doesn't matter. I need you to do something for me. Why should I? Because it will save your life and the lives of everyone on Earth. Do you trust me? No. Good, because I've been lying to you. What? If you do as I say, you'll be able to shut down the time machine and close the temporal breach. I don't believe you. I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm just asking you to do as I say. Think about it. What do you have to lose? Okay, what do I have to do? That's enough. End the call, Norman. Or you will die. Oh, Locus, Locus. You're making a massive mistake. No mistake. The body you are currently inhabiting belongs to my good friend, Evelyn. And while you may be able to control her words... You will never make her pull that trigger. And why not? Because I am the doctor. You are the doctor. The real thing. 
Accept no substitutes. Doctor? You there, Doctor? Sorry about that. A little local difficulty. Now, Brewster, we have to time this very carefully. On my word and not before, raise the third lever to its highest setting. No. No, no, no not yet. Not yet. We have to wait for the last of the Terrabore drones to enter the interface. Now, Brewster, now! We can do it, Flip. We're nearly at the wormhole. And there's a Terrabore coming out of here. Oh, Oh no, oh no, no, the wormhole's closing. Organics must be eliminated. Run, Jared! Oi, you with the wings! Take me, not him! Flip, no, you can't! Please, Jared, just run! Connection broken! Restore contact! Connection broken! He's dead. He's dead. Luckily for us, I thought we'd had it. Yeah, but if this fella's out of action, then maybe all the other ones are too. Well done, Brewster. Well done. What has happened? My friend has sealed off the temporal breach. But the Terravor Queen, she is still here. And she alone. I have lost contact with the swarm. Connection broken. Restore contact. Connection broken. You might as well stop trying, Your Majesty. You're out of range. Doctor, why is she affected? Because, Lucas, the Terravore are a hive mind, a gestalt. Rather like your good self, they have no independent existence. I guess as much from the fact that the Terravor Queen would be the last to travel to Earth, she could not risk losing contact with the Swarm. Because without them, Because without she them, can't... she can't survive. Just as they can't survive without her. The fewer of them there are, the weaker she gets. And with none of them left... You will be eliminated for this, Doctor. Eliminated. You don't have enough power, Your Majesty. But before you go into standby mode, I have one question. Why? Why? Why roam the galaxy, accumulating the resources of every planet that gets in your way? What's it all for? Terrible directive. We are to extract and assimilate all mineral wealth. On behalf of those who constructed us. Terraforming robots running amok. No doubt the product of a civilization destroyed by their own creations when they forgot to include an off switch. <laughs> all that death, all that destruction, and for nothing. This is not our first encounter. I know. And I'm rather looking forward to it. Doctor, we always knew you would come to our assistance. Now, let me warn you, Lucas. Don't ever come asking for my help again, because I won't be there for you a third time. Now, give me Evelyn back. Doctor? Evelyn. Oh, you're safe. Don't worry. What happened? Th there was this young man pretending to be you, and I was in this cave... Uh, it's a long story. I'll explain later. Oh, must you? I think I'd rather remain in blissful ignorance just this once. Ladies! Here we go, Doctor. Miss Smythe. One police box. Good old TARDIS. We're free to go then, Detective Inspector. The sooner the better, if you don't mind. Of course. Well, this is goodbye then, Patricia. Doctor, there's one thing I don't understand. One thing? Only one thing? You understand everything else? What was the point of the whole pretending to sacrifice Earth routine? Ah. You see, I knew my words were being overheard by the Locusts, and I had to convince them that I wasn't up to something. The best way to do that was to seem to betray my friends. Remind me never to trust you. Very wise. 
Because if there's one thing you can be sure of, it's that there's more to me than meets the eye. Patricia, you wouldn't know what happened to Jared and Philippa. Currently at the station for debriefing and then, uh, well, the non-stop excitement of adjusting back to normal life. I imagine I'll see them in my uh, group therapy sessions. <laughs> And the members of Brewster's gang? We've had reports of people turning up after days suffering from amnesia. Seems they found their way home in the end. Brewster himself, no sign. Yes. If I know Thomas Brewster, he's not going to let himself be caught that easily. You may be right. Anyway, I've got more than enough on my plate tidying up after his mess. But thank you, Doctor. No. Thank you, Detective Inspector. Thank me. For what? For not letting on that we had already met. Most considerate of you. You knew all along. I'm an educated guess. And when we meet again, I'll do my best to return the favor. <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. See you later. Goodbye, Patricia. See you earlier. So, where to now, Evelyn? You think after all this, we deserve a well Oh, please don't say rest. What? Well, whenever you say you're going to land us somewhere nice... It always ends badly. It does not. Oh, ye of little faith. Oh, hello. Seem to have misplaced the TARDIS key. <laughs> then it's just as well. You left the door open, isn't it? Left the door open? Me? Take it from me, Doctor. That's how it starts. Leaving the door open, leaving the gas on... Are you saying I'm getting old? Nah. He didn't leave the door open, but I didn't have the key. Brewster! I might have known once a cut purse, always a cut purse. What are you doing here? Thomas? Guess. Oh, please. Put the gun down, Brewster. You don't get it, do you? This is a hijack. A hijack? You're going to take me back to my own time. Now. Excuse me, but I do not take orders from any common thief. No more talk, Doctor. Drive! <laughs>